Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So back in February of this year, I posted that Microsoft had confirmed and announced a big update for Sticky Notes, which will include OneNote integration, which back then was available for Microsoft 365 Insiders in the current channel preview. Now, just to let you know that yesterday in my region on the 27th of May, the new Sticky Notes is now rolling out to all users globally. And um, Microsoft has mentioned that the new Sticky Notes is a fresh feature from OneNote. So now it's integrated into the OneNote app. Now, this is what the previous Sticky Notes app used to look like, as many of you may well know. It was its own standalone app. But now, um, you ha to access the new Sticky Notes, you have to have OneNote installed on Windows 10 or Windows 11, else you will not get access to the new app, which I think is a little bit unfortunate. I can see why Microsoft integrated it into OneNote. You know, Sticky Notes and OneNote can integrate into each other quite nicely. But now you've got to have two apps where previously you only needed one app to do this to do the same thing. But nonetheless, so if you want to um, launch uh, the new Sticky Notes here to the top right, you'll see Sticky Notes. You click on that, and there we go. There's the new Sticky Notes app, and you can obviously drag that around on your desktop to your own personal choice and preference. Now, if we head to the three-dotted menu, yeah, we get um, the account you are signed in with. We get some settings, and you can also dock to desktop. So if you are using the app on a regular basis, maybe you are doing research or um, you know, just um, some homework as an example, um, you can dock this to your desktop, which I think is a nice move. And you can undock that from desktop. So that's just a nice bit of functionality that's added into Sticky Notes. And you obviously can add a note. And if you head to the three dots, you can change the color just like you could in the so-called old um, Sticky Notes. We can obviously add our note. And once that's added, um, if you click on the three dotted menu, you can delete that note. So it's the functionality is more or less the same when it comes to that, like it was previously. And then, yeah, you can actually take a screenshot as well, which I think is a nice move. And after launching the new sticky notes, um, if you want to run the app independently of uh, OneNote, you can actually pin it to your taskbar. So obviously, you just right click on that icon. You say pin to taskbar, and there we go. And you can actually see it's got pre next to it. So it's still in preview, which means um, it's in effect still a beta app. So there could be one or two glitches. But you can see that little icon still says pre, which is preview. So obviously, um, it's not a complete stable app as yet, although Microsoft has pushed it out. And once that's pinned to your taskbar, obviously, you don't have to open OneNote to launch sticky notes. You can just launch that independently as its own so-called app from the taskbar, which I think is a nice move. And Microsoft says soon you'll also be able to try the new sticky notes from the Windows Start menu. So it's not available as yet from the Start menu, but I hope they roll that out sooner than later so you don't have to have the extra clutter on your taskbar if you are using sticky notes on a regular basis. You can also access that directly uh, from your Start menu and your pinned apps uh, in your Start menu. And uh, if you want to launch the app with your keyboard without having to click on the actual uh, pinned icon to your taskbar or open in OneNote, you can also use Win Alt and S uh, to launch the app anytime from your keyboard. And then something else to take note of is um, if Microsoft says that if I already signed in uh, to Sticky Notes, as a user, all your existing notes will appear in the new Sticky Notes um, experience. So that will be migrated across and vice versa. I have noticed it's the other way around as well. So if you have the old app, you'll also see uh, the new Sticky Notes appear in the old app. So obviously that syncs across your different devices. And Dr. Desktop, they say, as mentioned, Dr. Desktop, and um, they say the feature does not work well with extended monitors. So if you have an extended monitor, you may have a problem. Uh, but Microsoft says they are working to fix the issue soon. So that's basically a little bit of a bug because it's still in preview, obviously, as mentioned. Uh, you can expect to see one or two glitches. And to get the new Sticky Notes app, um, you need to be running Windows 10 version 1903 or later and have OneNote app version 2402 build 17328.20000 
or later. So there we go. So um, I have seen a couple of comments on the channel where um, users were asking about the new app. And obviously now that's been pushed out now to all users globally. And the big difference with this one also just from a UR perspective is you, the, the previous one was more of a yellow user interface. Now we can see Microsoft is focus on, focusing on the so-called purple. Obviously that's because of the OneNote integration. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.